This is Roshan Raikar. Welcome to Rosh Ideations. Here's one of my really good friend and a fellow global shaper, Ramzan. And uh, I'm really excited to say that we are proud about you know the fact that he has come to International Film Festival of India, the 50th International Film Festival of India. And we had a great time in the morning with all the fellow global shapers. And we loved the movie. How was your experience? Um, it was, uh, I think it was a successful Asia premiere uh, here in Goa. Uh, it was a good uh, turnout. Um, it was a full house. Um, yeah, I think uh, the audience liked the film and, and really uh, was able to connect with the universal themes that are, that are, that are explored within the movie. Yeah, so that was a, a great start and then I can see a lot of people asking you questions uh, that why don't you uh, think about showing this in all the schools and colleges in India and across the world because yeah. it's going to make a positive impact. So uh, what are your thoughts about this? Right, so um, a, a lot of people have expressed um, uh, the, the fact that uh, they see um, a lot of um, crime stories within the, 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 the sports uh, in, in India, but they, they don't really see the, the, the failures. And, and, uh, uh, I guess for them it was important to see those stories because they, they, they see themselves in those stories. Uh, it, it reflects their reality uh, as they see it. Uh, which is important. Uh, so uh, what we want to do is, uh, obviously we want to showcase it uh, even further uh, in every uh, region of, of India and the world at large. Uh, and we hope to collaborate with uh, NGOs and nonprofits that use uh, sports uh, to drive change and help them utilize the film as, as a call to action for, uh, for people um, to get involved in the good work that they're leading on the ground. Perfect. So for uh, all our viewers, if you can, in a very nutshell, tell what the movie is all about so that uh, it excites them to look forward for the movie. Sure. So um, the, the Rose Olympia was inspired by um, my experiences as an athlete, but also uh, by those who are very close to my heart. Um, it was my dream to be an Olympian, but uh, I never made it. Uh, and the biggest obstacles that I have faced was in the competition, it was things that I faced uh, away from the playing field. Uh, in my case, um, I, I didn't have uh, adequate uh, documentation uh, in the United States, uh, which uh, meant that I did not, I couldn't accept uh, scholarships and government grants that was given to me when I was transition, transitioning from uh, high school to college. So uh, that led me to eventually drop out, uh, and uh, it indirectly uh, ended my athletic career. So at that point, I wanted. I was transitioning into filmmaking uh, on my own uh, as an autodidact and I wanted to tell a story uh, uh, that was also close to my heart uh, and it reflected my reality where uh, athletes are trying to reach uh, a competitive uh, equal level playing field but their biggest obstacle that they face is the competition, it's uh, the things that they face uh, within their society, culture or issues that are linked to socioeconomic conditions. Um, so I started drawing uh, you know, uh, inspiration from uh, you know, things that I've faced uh, in life uh, and also witnessed. Uh, my best friend uh, was a gay closet athlete uh, while we were competing in college and uh, he was the first one uh, who, I was the first one who he came out to. And, um, I've seen his struggles uh, with coming to terms with his sexual identity. Uh, so that inspired the Russian story uh, of a, a baby Catholic who was forced to live a double life. Um, I was born into a Muslim family and uh, have seen uh, uh, mistreatment of women in many Islamic cultures. Um, and even within my family, my sister was treated differently than I did. Uh, so that inspired the Saudi story of uh, Muna, who yeah, is who wants to freely participate in sports and is, is really good at it. But uh, due to uh, past trauma, her mother is against her playing. And uh, the Brazilian story, uh, it's an uh, Afro-Brazilian uh, wrestler who's trying to get his mother out of poverty by making it to the games. Uh, 
And that story um, was inspired by my upbringing in uh, North Caucasus, Russia. After Reconstruction, my parents lost their jobs and never really recovered. Um, and uh, I grew up in a community uh, where uh, children uh, didn't have uh, much access to opportunity, uh, especially in sports. So all three uh, you know, stories came together and inspired me to write Rose to Olympia as one film. Fantastic. So it's, it's, a, um, it's great to see that he's covered all the aspects of uh, the struggles of any person who wants to pursue their passion into profession and the journey is so important. Uh, so we usually see in our movies the happy ending that somebody makes it and wins. But the struggles are shown so it will inspire a lot of more youngsters to keep pursuing whatever are the circumstances. So that was incredibly inspiring. So, um, so uh, talking about our uh, Global Shapers community, so we are connected to each other through our uh, Global Shapers community, the young community at uh, World Economic Forum, who is trying to make a difference uh, in different parts of the world, uh, taking uh, individual, uh, taking initiatives which will bring a change. Uh, so what, what support would you like from uh, what would you like to have from our Global Shippers community because there's so much in common that we are trying to do uh, across the world yeah. and the movie that you have made, uh, what, what are you looking forward to? So, um, as, as we know, uh, the Global Shippers community is an amazing global community of young people who, uh, who come together and they create impact uh, on a local but also global scale. So um, I'd love to collaborate with other hubs around the world where we create, create um, activations uh, and uh, partner with uh, local uh, activists and uh, organizations that are leading change through sports and then allow them uh, and work with them um, uh, on uh, bringing more support to, to their causes uh, by utilizing the film, um, inspiring, you know, audience and then giving them a, a specific clear uh, call to action where they know how to get involved. Fantastic. So we, um, on behalf of the whole Global Shapers community, uh, Global Shapers Panjim Hub are already very excited and have planned a lot of activities that can really support the movie as well as the impact that it is going to make across the world to inspire the youth, all the sportsmen. Uh, and uh, in general, all those people who want to pursue their passion, you know, whatever circumstances they are going through, and I'm really confident you'll you'll make it there. I've I've, I've written something for him. <laughs> oh, it's it's a rap. Rap, yeah. What? <laughs> so. Uh, it's it's yeah, like very short. Okay. So you wrote, um, you were inspired by by the, by the film, and you wrote. Uh, wrote a rap, piece? yeah. So I All pursued right. that that hidden passion of mine. Amazing. Okay. Um, I may I may be, sh you know, conscious a bit, but let me give it a try. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Let's, let's do it on the spot. So, one, two, three. Ramazan has made his roads to Olympia with all our hearts. We welcome you to India. All the hustle and the trivia, but the success will feel like nostalgia. Idea right. became his passion. Yep. Passion yep. became his motivation. Motivation became his obsession. Obsession became his mission. No more cultural oppression. No more suppression. No room for discrimination. It's time for education to follow your passion, to take the action. This is just the inception. Roads to Olympia is the revolution. I love it. So if, if Yannick was there, was here, he'd yeah. be able to give you a nice beat. Yeah, Unfortunately, yeah. I can't uh, make noises with my mouth, but I was here yeah, to so hear it in live. <laughs> I thought I'll, I'll just express the feeling, yeah. uh, but um, it, it could have been more in the rhythm and the beat and all of that. But I think uh, the passion is more important. So I, I, I tried my best. I think the words uh, said it all. Yeah, so I'll, I'll, I'll send that to you. Sounds I, good. I, I hope you like it. I will print it and hang it on my wall. That's amazing. <laughs> I'm so happy. So, how, how do you want uh, the athletes and the whole sports community to be involved in, yeah. in your process uh, of uh, uh, whatever vision that you have had while making this movie? And then, uh, what impact would you like to create? Yeah. So, um, 
sports in general bring a, a lot of people together. Uh, they unite people, uh, they break barriers. Um, and, uh, you know, statistically, sports um, events bring uh, more viewership uh, than, you know, entertainment and politics uh, combined. So, I believe that uh, sports uh, people, uh, women and men, have uh, an enormous uh, power to, to inspire people that look up to them uh, to, to be uh, better human beings and if they see injustice uh, or oppression, oppression or uh, prejudice, uh, they, they, they stand up against it. Uh, so today more than ever, um, athletes have platforms that they, they can utilize um, to uh, kind of enable change uh, in the world. So hopefully, um, as they use their platform for good, all, we can also work with them uh, and see if they could utilize the film in uh, in their own um, uh, as they as they do the work. Um, hopefully, yeah, we can use it as a tool to change and inspire uh, their talent as well. Great. So, when can we um, expect the film to be released worldwide? So hopefully um, we're, we're working on it. Uh, we are having uh, various premieres around the world. Um, but our goal is to release the film and the campaign uh, right before the Olympic Games. Okay. So it's, it's very timely. Uh, these issues are relevant, unfortunately. Uh, they're universal, unfortunately. <laughs> but um, I think it's a good, uh, we're in a good place um, where we're good to do. Uh, use of the Olympic Games as a platform and then um, catapult our uh, mission and purpose into action right before the Games um, and make the biggest impact we can have. Amazing. Our, uh, on behalf of all our Global Shapers and my team Rosh Ideations, we wish best and uh, we are really confident that you will make it all the way best. Thank you. Yeah. Super love. Ship love. Thank you.